Hey, what's up, guys? Everything Outdoors here. Today, I'm going to be reacting to a video. It's called This Is Why I Don't Go Fishing, and it's by PETA. Um, our last video I reacted to is uh, Animal Rights Nut Job Attacks Family Fishing. I got quite a few comments and quite a few views on that, considering how new the video was. So, uh, I enjoy actually doing these reaction videos. I, I, I hate the reaction videos, but this is like, um, you know, outdoor stuff. So, I, I kind of enjoy it. Um, you guys tell me if you're liking this uh, reaction uh, response series. Um, Colin asked me to do a video uh, called Angler Kills and Tosses Musky for No Reason. Um, if you guys want me to react to that, go ahead and tell me. And then one more thing before we get to the actual video. Um, this the old white background that I used to have. Um, if you guys like the, uh, I don't even know what I forgot to say, but I think it's hidden... Uh, fishing tackle, which shows the bass with my blue wall. If you guys like that uh, background better, tell me in the comments and I'll switch back to that. But anyway, let's cut to the video and then we'll talk about it afterward. Alright, now that we've both seen the video, um, let's talk about it and uh, talk about the facts they put in there. Facts that are uh, actually lies. So it said fish feel pain. That's true, they do. It says they um, researchers studied pain receptors in fish and found they're strikingly similar to mammals. Okay, mammals are a completely different thing. Okay, these are reptiles. What does what does mammals have to do with it? Shouldn't all animals? Shouldn't you care about that? Doesn't it like if you care about animals, does it matter if it's a fish or a reptile or a mammal? Um, that, that doesn't make sense to me at all. Um, and then it says, fishing teaches kids the wrong way to treat animals. Um, I, I don't know how. It's, it's a tradition. It's, it's, it's just fishing, you know. You catch fish. Uh, a lot of fishermen release fish. I think it's like 70%. I don't know the actual number. But... Um, it shows a little kid happy with a uh, thing of stringer. I don't. I don't think this kid's gonna end up uh, being a murderer or something because he went fishing, and uh, torture animals because he went fishing. So that's not true. Children who witness cruelty to animals experience physiological and emotional damage. Domestic violence counselor De Deborah K. Steenken. I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but um, I, I mean, yeah, probably they might. But a fish fishing is not gonna um, affect a kid because he went out and caught some bluegill. Uh, catch and release harms fish. It doesn't. I mean, when you unhook a fish and throw it back in the water, it, it doesn't matter how you throw it back in the water. It's gonna be very happy to be back in the water. It's gonna probably forget about what you did to it. Um, yes, it can harm fish if you hook them through the eye or in the brain or something. But it, catch and release really doesn't harm fish. That's pretty much a lie. And then it says, hooked fish still endure pain and terror. No, they don't, because fish have almost no nerves in their mouth. I talked about this in the last video. They can barely feel the hooks at all. And then it says, consuming fish is bad for your health. Fish oils are like one of the best things you can put in your body. It just is it's extremely healthy and has so many health benefits. Uh, I can't even begin on this because it would just go on all night. Um, and then it says... Their flesh stores dangerous contaminants that can cause liver damage and nervous system damage or, or disorders. Um, yeah, maybe in some poisonous fish that lives in seven miles below the surface of the ocean, not walleye and bluegill crappie, even saltwater fish, uh, ladyfish, what are they called, um, houndfish, 
I'm pretty sure that those aren't going to hurt you. And then it says, fishing harms the environment, and it shows a dead turtle. What does that have to do with fishing? I mean, yeah, it's sad, turtle died, but that has nothing to do with fishing. It says, fishing harms the environment. Wildlife rehabilitators say discarded fishing tackle is one of the greatest threats to aquatic animals. Yeah, but discarded fishing tackle, people will leave their fishing tackle out on like an island um, or, you know, throw their stuff in the water. That's just a person being a jerk. That's not anything to do with fishing. That's just a fisherman who's being a jerk. That's happened to me. One time, a person, I won't mention his name, me and Colin were fishing with this person. He left his a giant thing of line. It was like 20 pound test. And we're fishing for bluegill and he brought totally the wrong line and then he got all mad because Colin wouldn't give him his line and stormed off and left his line on the island it got in my bike gears and um, you know it, you shouldn't do that okay and you know who you are if you're watching this video so we threw the line away got out of my bike and that was pretty much the end of it so that's just a person being a jerk that's nothing to do with fishing then it says fishing is a tradition it's torture and then it says PETA Okay, it's not torture at all, okay? Fish and then releasing it or even keeping it, as long as you kill it instantly, that's not torture. So anyway, that's my thoughts on the PETA fishing video. It's, I mean, it's basically just all lies for a minute. I think that's how long the video was. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching the video and see you soon.